Will these grenadiers take down this base? That is the question. Hello guys, welcome to another Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be taking down the Hammerman Strikes Back. As you guys know, we love to make bases on this channel. We've made this, I don't even really know what to call it yet, but I think it's going to be like a section base, line base, not very sure. But we're going to be seeing how this, you know, can actually handle, can I actually handle the Hammerman fleet? That's all we're going to know. We're going to be going in here with stage one. Um, as you guys know, we also like to make predictions in terms of how many stages we'll get to. I think we'll probably get about stage 5. So we're going to let Hammerman attack us right now. We've got ourselves some heavies, riflemen and some tanks. Now, that's an easy combo. It's always very easy to start off with. But I'm um, really, really interested to see how far we'll get here. Um, probably around about stage 5 or 6 though, because it is a pretty good base. We do have no prototype defences. So, if, if we had some prototype defenses, it obviously would be a lot easier. As you guys know, it makes it, uh, it makes, oh my goodness, it actually almost makes it probably double easier, honestly. It, it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you need prototype defenses if you even want to be remotely successful. But we are a completely maxed out level base, so we do have some hope. But I don't think we'll ever complete uh, a Hammerman fleet without them. So next week, guys, get the notifications turned on, get subscribed, because next week we are going to go with three prototype defenses. Let me know in the comments what kind of prototype defenses you want to use. Um, at the moment, I'm swaying towards three hot pots or two hot pots and a damage amplifier. That's probably the best combo that I that I think that will probably work the best. Um, anything else doesn't really seem to cut it. The only other thing I can maybe see pretty good is maybe Laser Blaster or Shock Blaster. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how that one. We're on stage 4 already, so this is going really, really well. We're only 2 minutes into the video. Also, keep forgetting to tell you guys, we are still doing this Boom Beach t-shirt giveaway. Got maybe another couple of days left, so remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. Uh, and basically comment, uh, a nice little comment in the comment section and you'll be entered into the giveaway. If you don't want the Boom Beach t-shirt, then, I don't know, you, you can always pass it on. But I'm pretty sure if you guys win it, um, you'll want to have this really cool t-shirt. There's cer certain sizes as well. It's a limited edition. There's only 500 being made in the world, actually. And it's really, really good. So here we go. We're actually going on to stage 5 already, guys. And we're doing amazing. So we're taking on some Riflemen, Grenadiers, and Heavies this time now. Honestly, guys, riflemen are very hard in huge waves, but there's no medics, and if there's medics, it's it's, it's basically game over. But um, the grenadiers actually don't get a huge advantage on this base because there's quite a lot of, you know, things being spread out. So we actually can take the riflemen out quite fast, but we've got a lot of heavies right now. I'm not really sure how to deal with that. So. Yeah, the heavies are getting ripped up. Not really sure if we'll actually achieve this or not. But the, to be honest, these sniper towers are doing a decent job. Hopefully they target them grenadiers. Please. Oh, we've got one sniper tower left, guys. And hopefully them grenadiers target the other defense. Right, it's a waiting game at this point. Will these grenadiers take down this base? That is the question. Um, so... I actually think we'll actually manage to do this. We've actually gonna make managed to take this down with with just waiting the time out. So we're very, very lucky there. And yeah, we should be pretty grateful for that one because that could have went horribly wrong. So we're on a stage six. I'm very impressed at this point. Um I actually didn't think we'd get this far. So we've got ourselves riflemen. I'm looking at this combo here and I know this is gonna be a fail already. The only thing I can maybe Honestly, we just, I don't think we'll take this one down. Um, we really needed the tanks to come out first, to be honest with you. But the riflemen are coming out. As long as the medics come out last, I'll be happy. Um, we really need that Scorcher to die. It's really becoming a pain at this point. Yeah, we've lost this one. I don't really know how we're going to be managed to fix this. We need to take, get all of our splash damage defenses at the start. 
and we need all of our single shot defenses at the end. So we're going to switch a couple of things out here. We're going to actually move these back, move these forward, I'm going to move the rocket launchers, I don't really know where to move them, because the Scorcher does come in line, the Scorcher comes down the left side, so I really want to have some boom cannons over here, and we're going to, to be honest guys, we're going to kind of ruin this base, but we need to move this this headquarters because this is going to be the one of the first thing that's going to be targeted and we do not want that to happen so we can move these sniper towers back move these cannons back we really need all of our splash at the front because we need them riflemen to die as quick as possible before the medics come in so here we go we'll see if we do any better this time i don't have much hope so here we go we've got some riflemen coming in um, right, okay, there's some, okay, interesting, can we take them out? No, we've got that Scorcher taking all the fire, but the Scorcher's getting destroyed by them cannons, please take another shot, yes, guys, perfect, now, we've got no splash damage defences left, and we have a lot of riflemen to deal with, so this isn't looking particularly good, but it's doing a lot better than I anticipated, I don't think we'll take this one out, so we might just switch the base up straight away. I don't think there's much point in wasting any more time on this base. So we're going to just switch out to one of my favourite combos to use. And it's this base here. I always use this base. If anything fails, we try this base. It's my most successful base, actually, guys. If we have some prototype defence as well, it does help. But here we go. The riflemen are coming. I'm going times four here. The riflemen at the start have been destroyed pretty quick. That Scorcher has been destroyed as well. Here we go. Look at this, guys. This base is doing an amazing job at holding us up. I just need to take them riflemen out. The medics are doing an absolutely amazing job at holding this. We need them boom cannons to fire on them tanks. But as you guys can see here, look what's happening. We have actually managed to take this stage down. So I definitely recommend you guys at least try a base like this. Um, it, it is definitely worth it and you can see here that even with the medics we've managed to do this so ugh, this is ridiculous look at this we managed to take down stage six so here we go we're going on to stage seven what will happen oh if this if, the, if we manage to at least complete this i'll be very happy guys it's only riflemen wait wait a second we're going to go back on that other base because if it's only riflemen we, we may as well try it with it this is going to be very interesting to see. So here we go. If you guys manage to get to this one, this could be some people's first ever win. But, you know, well, if, if, if there was a hot pot, guys, if you had two, at least one hot pot, it would be ridiculous. So here we go. Wave upon wave is getting taken out by these. Oh, my goodness. Right. Come on. Maybe not, guys. That is a lot of riflemen coming in. And we did lose that. But honestly, guys, I I have so much confidence for this next base. This next base, huge confidence. Here we go. Load it in, straight in with this. Times four, just straight away. Let's see what we can do here, because I think we're going to be able to take this one down. Oh, no, no, no. What, what are we doing? Why did I go back on this base? I must be losing my mind. Okay, we know we're going to fail this. What is going on? We know we're going to fail this. Oh, guys, we know we're going to fail. Yes, hurry up. Destroy us already. But hang on a second. Wait. Did we lose that even more? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, That doesn't make any sense. But here we go. Load this one up. That's what we wanted to load. Fingers crossed, guys, we can take this one down. Here we go, times four. Please take this, come on. I mean, I've got huge confidence, please. There we go, perfect. Here we go, destroy them. Perfect, right, destroy them. Come on, no. Come on, please. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this, what? This is ridiculous, guys. I don't know what is going on here. Um, Maybe get all of our flamethrowers and 
everything over here maybe? I really don't know what just happened there. Hmm. It's a little bit... That's just damaged. Right, one more go. If this doesn't work, then we're going to end the video here. Here we go. Four times right now, guys. Let's do this. We've moved our rockets and shock launchers so they don't get destroyed too fast. There we go. Looking okay. They do have a lot of health, though. I mean, my goodness, they have so... Oh, my goodness, this is not looking good. Come on, shocks. Please hold them slightly. And we've lost this. Yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. I'm pretty sure anyone, if you have a prototype defense, you'll definitely do this. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. And I'll see you guys next time.